Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel and watching today's video. So I'm gonna be doing a summer bronze, golden hour, glowy makeup look. I think everything that I used today really portrays what I was going for, so I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah, I just, I did a vote over on my Instagram about what people wanted to see and they voted for a summer bronze look. And you know, golden hour is like a really popular trend right now. It's just when our skin is just looking like the best, the sun is hitting us right, everything is just right in the world. So I wanted to kind of mimic that for you and you know, kind of do like a full glam moment, even though we're stuck in our house for quarantine it's okay you can still feel like you're put together so yeah if you like what you're seeing um please keep watching the video everything that i use will be in the description box please subscribe if you haven't already and i hope you like the look okay let's get started so i'm gonna be doing my eyes first today because i want to use some like glitter and shimmer pigments and they're loose so in case there's follow i can just clean it up after and not have to worry about like ruining my face makeup so i'm gonna be using two palettes i'm gonna be mixing the Too faced born this way the natural nudes palette and the urban decay naked honey palette so these are like the most recent palettes that i featured on my channel but i've been loving them and together combined it's going to give me exactly the look that i'm going for so that's why i'm going to be using both of these if you don't have both of them or you don't want to buy both of them i'm sure you can find like so many like dupes for just like good brown warm shadows like you can find that anywhere so don't worry about that but i'm going to be using these two today okay so to start i'm going to be like priming my eyelids with this the concealer i'm going to be going in with later this is the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer and i use the shade warm beige i'm gonna just cancel out the darkness on my eyelids so i'm going to be taking this bone matte shade in the Too faced palette i'm just going to set the concealer so that it's like a powder finish and it doesn't have anything like tacky left. I think I'm actually gonna start in the Urban Decay Naked palette and I'm going to go in with Swarm and Keeper. They're like these really light, medium tone, and warm brown shades. I'm just gonna mix those and put them all over my crease and I'm gonna bring it pretty high up, like pretty much all the way up to my brow bone. Okay, so now that I have those buffed all over my transition, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced palette in the shade Maple. I'm gonna go in and make it even deeper because I do want this to get pretty like full glam and intense. So I'm going to take like a smaller brush like this. It's like more of like a packing brush. And I'm gonna go in with Truffle, which is the deepest shade in this palette. I'm probably also gonna go in with this one all the way here and just build up like that deep, rich chocolate brown in my outer V. Okay, so now almost done with like the palette. So I'm gonna go into the Too Faced one and I'm gonna be using the shade called Golden Light, which is this really pretty foiled metallic golden shade. So this isn't gonna be like the main color. I am gonna put stuff on top of this, but because you have like a lot going on in the lid, if you don't wanna go in with the concealer to clean it up, you can go in with like a powder shadow and just tap it over like the area to act as like a base of color so that when you put on like a loose pigment on top, it has something to like adhere to instead of like your bare lid. And I'm going to tap it all over where I want the golden shade. Okay, so that is it for the palettes that I'm gonna be using today. Um, I just brought it into like the, I guess like two thirds into my eyelid. And then when you get to like where the dark brown area is, just kind of like tap with your finger to like make it seem like it's like a seamless blend instead of like gold brown, you know? So now I have two loose pigments. I'm gonna swatch with them so you can see like the shade of them, but they're both golden bronze colors. So this is by Tarte and it's called their chrome paint shadow pot and I, this is a shade park avenue princess this is actually my like first ever single eyeshadow that i ever bought it's like the most stunning thing ever i think these are 21 or 22 dollars and you can get them at ulta or sephora and then this is the artist couture diamond lights finishers and then this is a shade diamond bronze um this artist couture is only sold at sephora so so this is the tarte chrome shadow pot and park avenue princess it's definitely way of like a deeper bronze shade but it has a really pretty like reflectiveness to it when it hits the light do you see that and this one is way more smooth like it just like spreads out really evenly and it looks very smoothing on the eyelid so if you have like textured eyelids or like wrinkles or anything like that this one might be like your best bet but then this one is the diamond bronze diamond lights finisher by artist couture and it has a silver reflex running through it so this one looks lighter on the eye than this one this one definitely looks deeper because it's just golden bronze this one has silver glitter all through it so it hits the light in a different way today i'm going to be using the diamond lights finisher because i really like that silver sparkle to it okay guys so that is pretty much it for the eyes to get this little golden hour bronzy summer like look so i'm just going to finish up my eyes so i'm going to put eyeliner on mascara on and then i'm going to clean up this under eye area clean up all the fallout clean up like the sides to make it look sharper and then we can get started on the face all right so i'm back so i finished up my eye area like 
my upper lash line, my lashes, and my eyebrows. So now I'm gonna move into the face, which I'm so excited about because I feel so weird with like my eyes and like no face on. So if you wanna really keep that glow going all day, all night, you know, really shine in that golden hour, you wanna go in with a glowy base. And I'm gonna be using the Milani Soft Focus Glow. I mentioned this also in my last video and I've been loving it. I have used it a couple times like off camera and I think it gives your skin such a subtle but nice like hint of sheen. So this is really gonna lock in any glow that you put on top. Okay, so I did primer and I color corrected my under eyes. So now for foundation, I'm just gonna go on with my tried and true. It's the NARS Natural Radiant Long Gray Foundation. I'm in the shade Vanity, which is M3.5. This isn't like a particularly glowy foundation, but it is super long lasting, full coverage, and it has a nice luminosity. So I'd say it's like a natural finish, not matte. And then for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Um, these make a really good combination where they give you full, full, full coverage, but it's not like a flat face because it's mattified. You get a very nice natural satin finish. Okay, so I have just done my foundation, concealer, and I set my under eyes because I didn't want them to get like wrinkly and stuff and now let's go into cream products so I don't think it's essential to do cream and powder products like every single day that could be excessive but when you're doing a glowy bronzy look and you want that to stay all day like you don't want the bronze or the glow to fade like five six hours into wearing your makeup it does help if you like double your products so if you do a cream and then put a powder on top it's gonna help it stay and like wear longer so I'm going to be bronzing up my skin with the milk makeup matte bronzer in the shade baked and i have the mini size because if you're never going to go through this so if you do ever pick this up i don't i recommend getting the smaller size and not investing in the bigger one because it's going to take forever to go through this you're going to get your 15 dollars worth and then i'm also going to put on liquid highlighter because that's going to bring in like your inner glowing from within kind of thing and so i'm going to be using the anastasia liquid glow and this is in the shade peach fizz which is like the perfect gold color for medium skin tones but you basically just want to go Go above your cheekbones, like don't go all the way down here because if you blend, it's gonna actually like bring your face down. So go a little bit above your natural cheekbone. So to blend this out, I just use this brush. It's the Morphe M536. And you just wanna make sure you don't ever blend down. Like make sure you still, you blend the product upwards. And it gives your face like a natural facelift. See, that gave like a really pretty natural bronze to the skin. And so now I'm gonna go in with the liquid highlighter. And the best way I found to apply this is just with your fingers. And you really don't need a lot. Like this goes such a long way. So be careful when you squeeze it out of the tube. But I take a little bit, like seriously, just a little tiny bit on my finger, like this much. And this will last you both sides. Like you don't even need to go in today. And I'm going to like rub it in a little. This is, I don't know if you can see the shade. Yeah, but it's like a really nice golden like shade. And I'm going to tap it where you would put highlighter. Look at that, how pretty is that? The finger is the best way to like really melt it into your skin because it just gives like the most beautiful natural glow to your skin. If you are doing like a more natural look and you don't like powder highlighter because you think it like accentuates anything, liquid highlighter is a really good way to still give your skin that healthy glow but make it look like you already have it naturally. Okay, so that is it for the cream products. I think it just gives such a nice natural like flush to your skin but you're still like glowing, like it's there. The glow is there. So now we've like reached the part in your makeup routine where you're gonna powder your face, but what's the point of powdering your face if it's gonna take away like literally all of the glow that you just put on back? So this is the only powder I found that sets your makeup down, but it doesn't, you don't lose any of the glow because the powder itself has like glow in it. And this is by Jaclyn Hill. So Jaclyn Hill on YouTube, she has a cosmetics brand, it's called Jaclyn Cosmetics. And she came out with these huge like, I guess they're called setting powders. This is in the shade Carrots and it's their Luminous Powder. So it's a setting powder, but it has like micro shimmer in it. Let me see if I can do a swatch so you can see that there is a slight like luminosity to it. Yeah, you can definitely see. Like you can already see that glow is not from the liquid highlighter. That is just from the powder. All right, so let's continue with the bronze thing, obviously. So I'm gonna be using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have the shade deep bronzer. So I, my favorite bronzer of all time is actually by ABH, but I wanted to show this one because I do love this bronzer first of all, and it's like just more affordable and more accessible to like everyone. So it definitely does gets the job done if you're trying to be bronzed all summer, but just bronze up over the same areas that you put the cream bronzer and you're just going to look like a bronze tan queen. All right. I am feeling bronze like I just went on vacation bronze like I actually have left my house in the past month and a half bronze like it's there sweetie it is 
we laid on the beach all summer bro. <laughs> i'm gonna be taking the mac glow blush and this is in the shade crayon you want a blush that has some radiance to it and this one definitely does i also found that the best way to apply this is with your finger but it's not going to disrupt anything so don't worry that you're putting like a kind of creamy product on top of powder like it's it's going to be fine so yeah you definitely get the most pigment when you use your finger and you're just going to tap If you're going for like a bronze slash like sunburn kind of thing, um, bring your blush up onto your nose and it'll just look like you bronzed and got burnt at the same time. Okay, so now for highlighter, which is like probably one of the most like important parts of a bronze summer look. I mean, obviously along with the bronzer, this is like the other it factor. So I'm gonna be using the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Highlighter. This is like a cult favorite. I have the mini size. Um, I'm not gonna show it to you because it's cracked and broken and it's, it's like loose in the pan, but I don't know if you can see. Yeah, but this is like the perfect golden color it works on so many skin tones like whether you're like light medium or tan like it's gonna be such a beautiful glow on you and a little goes a long way with this highlighter like you're about to see look at that we are glowing <laughs> Okay, so now that your complexion is done, we are bronze, we are so glowy, like we look like we just got back from like Greece or something. Let's finish up the eyes so that it doesn't look like so blank. So I'm just gonna take basically all the colors that I put in my transition, run them across my lower lash line, deepen up like right against my lower lash line with that brown, and then add eyeliner and mascara. Okay, y'all, so I am back. So I finished up my eyes. Everything that I use on my eyes and on my face in general will be listed in the description box below. I'm gonna be putting on my lips now. So I'm gonna go in with like a nude lip. Um, we have like a lot going on on our eyes, like all over our face. We are super glowy, so I don't want like any, a lot of attention drawn to like the lips. So I'm just gonna go in with my favorite nude lipstick, which is Kulata by Tarte. Okay, so lipstick is on, and this is like my perfect nude shade. If you are like anywhere near me, I definitely recommend checking out the shade Kulata. But now I'm going to be using the Artist Couture, what is this called? Their, I think that's just their lip gloss. There's a little like name on it. This is the perfect, perfect, perfect nude gloss. And especially when you're going for like a very deep, like bronze look like this, this is like such a complimentary gloss for that. Okay, so I'm quickly going to set my face. Again, you want to use more of like a dewy, luminous setting spray because you don't want to take away any of that shine that you've put on. You put so much effort into getting this bronze shine, like you don't want to take it away. So I'm going to be using the Morphe Jeffree Star setting spray. Um, I don't know if they have this one anymore because it was a collab, but Morphe did come out with a luminous setting spray so if you are looking for a dewy finish they do make it from this brand okay everyone so this is the final makeup look it's super glowy bronzy like i just came back from vacation vibes even though i've been sitting in my house for the past like six weeks i don't even know anymore but if you want to achieve this golden hour look i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you found it helpful i hope you find some products that can help you get to this look it was super like easy it is a little bit time consuming because you are doing like more of a full glam look and not like an everyday you know this is not like an everyday look for me but i think it turned out really fun and just like very fitting for this time of year like summer bronze glowy you know you get the vibes so if you have any more ideas or suggestions or comments please leave them down in the comments below or over on my instagram i love to hear any of them i'm open to everything i have so much time to film right now so i definitely am like looking for things to film i hope you enjoy i hope you subscribe and come back for future videos like more hauls more tutorials like this thank you for watching today's video i hope everyone's staying safe and having fun what they can in quarantine and i'll see you guys next time